Hey everybody, it is Tanya and Angie. Welcome to episode number 21 of Jewelry Detectives. <laughs> so today we are gonna be opening a jewelry bag and Angie has brought some pieces to share. Uh, so we are excited to uh, show you guys what we have today. How are you doing, Angie? I'm doing great, very blessed. How about you? Doing good, glad to be here. And um, you wanna say hi to everybody in the chat? Okay, sure. Um, Hi, Martha. She comes every time. And uh, let me see. Stark Raven, W L L D. Stark Raven's here, and she did, she has a rescue dog that was uh -huh. going to eat her jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, Tracy. Uh, hey, Tanya. Another Tanya. Yay! Yay! Uh, we love our Tanyas. And hi, Leslie, and hi, Jewel, and hi, Iron and Lace Antiques. And I think I got everybody. Awesome. Uh, Barb oh. and Connie and Adam and my little corner of Georgia. Okay. Neatly me is here. Yay. They Thanks everyone awesome. for joining us. <laughs> um, so you want to go first, Andy, or you want me to? Um. Yeah, I don't. I really don't have uh, but a couple pieces. I found this yesterday when I was just going through some older stuff that was kind of locked away, not locked away, but in a closet. <laughs> I thought, oh, wonder what's in here. You know how that is. And I opened it up. It's the, you know, the land of lost jewelry. <laughs> I opened it up here. It's a Monet piece. It's like my other Valero, only it's broke. It's missing the one of the dingles. Oh. But this is this is like the really old, 1961, I think it is. And I, yeah, I have the silver one, which is intact. If I just had the the bottom piece of this, I would be so happy because I'd have the silver one and the gold one. But as it is, I don't know, you know what what much good it is but i found that mm. connect them like can you fix it you think connect. Like, what do you mean connect them like oh you mean like that yeah like at the bottom i guess you could but you would it wouldn't be the same i mean it would be like hey i'm kind of a monet <laughs> <laughs> <Sort of. laughs> uh, and did you know you probably well I'm sure you did because you have the book but Monet uh, have you ever run across or seen Monet cufflinks and and uh, tie clasps I don't I, think so I realized that I had some these are really cool and I had them listed and I took them down because <laughs> I decided I wanted to keep them because I'm like, okay, who has Monet cufflinks in a tie class? Right. Nobody but you. <laughs> well, I I can't say that for sure, but I have these, and they're really cool. They're gray and pink and, and uh, like, with burgundy speckles on them. See that? Yeah, those are neat. And they're definitely, uh, you know, mid-century. And uh, I just... I'm sure there's not too many Monet, uh, or I feel like there's not too many Monet uh, men's pieces out there. And it's marked right there, Monet, and it's it's really hard to see. It's almost worn away, but it's there. Well, that yeah. is nice that you have both pieces like that. Yeah, I, I think they're cool. When I when I got these, I just thought they were so cool. Just the colors of them and the you know the mid century vibe of them, I thought was cool. So That's I was happy to have those. Um, I have this piece here. I'm going to try and get this listed today. So this is actually um, a Sarah Cov piece, Coventry. And I wasn't yeah. sure it was that stone, so I wanted to ask you guys what you thought it might be. And then it's that's, uh, right there on the back, right mm -hmm. there. That's called Remembrance, that piece. Remember? Oh, God. Let me write that down. <laughs> I have that, too. Yeah, I have that, too. Let me get mine so I can feel this. Stone, see if there's. Yeah, I wonder what the stone is. What do you guys think? I don't think, I'm kind of thinking it's not a real stone. It's a faux stone. Really, it looks like a natural stone, but I guess it isn't. I don't know, though. I'm not sure. And it can also be a pendant. 
I think it's actually lucite or plastic or something. You see it has some uh, it has some confetti like looking uh, gold and speckles in it. Oh, it sure does. Yeah, and if you like click it on your teeth, it feels lucidity. Lucidity <laughs> or <laughs> plasticky. Yeah. Yeah, I guess maybe it does. Mm hmm And it's not real cold. So yeah, that's that's just a faux. They're faux stones, but this is one of the prettiest pieces. I just love this piece. Mm -hmm. and, uh, really? Unfortunately, check, check your solds. There's a lot. I mean, check the listings. There's a lot of those out there. Really? You, would, you wouldn't think so, but yeah, that's that's one of the more common pieces uh, of soon. Okay, well, I will not be listing this today then. <laughs> well, you can check. Maybe, you know, I haven't looked for a while. Maybe there's not many on there right I now. I have to list things that are going to make me a lot of money, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. You break it in. Um, okay. Wow, Carol, well, I'm so proud of Carol. She's in, she's in her two-mile walk right now, but she's still watching. Yay, Carol, I'm wearing the necklace that you sent me. It's so pretty. It's a Chico's necklace. That is so pretty, Carol. Yeah, it goes really good with her um, purple. And we're both wearing purple. No, we're both wearing purple. We did not plan that. <laughs> it's a purple kind of day. Yeah. Um, so before we forget and we get into this jewelry bag, I wanted to um, go ahead and tell you guys about a new little segment we're going to be doing um, just to um, include in our show. So somebody actually asked us to do a review of their uh, Etsy shop and she's asking for a little bit of help on uh, pricing and her pictures and her description and stuff like that. So I thought we'd all take a look at her shop. Her name's Kathleen Wall and I'm going to be making a post later in the jewelry groups if you guys would like us to look at your uh, eBay store or your Etsy shop or your Poshmark closet uh, for the jewelry because um, you know, we, we could all use a little help. And and I just want to say that Angie and I are by no means experts. Like I could probably stand to have somebody look at my stuff too. Uh, but she asked and I thought it would be fun if we just um, looked at it together. So let me screen share. Okay. Can you guys see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go back to this one. So this is Kathleen's shop on Etsy. It's called Digging Around. There's a picture of her cute little dog. Yeah. And you can see um, she has several pieces of jewelry listed. Looks like she has about 31 items, nine pieces of jewelry. Let's look at her jewelry. She has a good variety. Yeah, definitely. Um, and for the blue background, I mean, I definitely think that the different colored backgrounds are eye catching and they get people's attention. Mm -hmm. I, I've just been doing eBay for so long that I'm just a classic white girl. <laughs> <laughs> I really do like the white background, but I do believe I was just talking about this yesterday that you can really have a lot of fun with your pictures, like on Poshmark and on Etsy for sure. Like I really enjoy your pictures, Angie, the different ways that you display them. Thank you. Yeah, I think it adds a lot of interest to your listing for sure. And it definitely gets your attention. When I go to take my pictures, I have so much stuff. It's like I have a big basket full of props and I have, it's just a big production. When I go to take my pictures, oh, it's like, right. oh, like all this stuff out. And sometimes it's like, oh, whatever. I'm just going to put it on this blah background. You know? It's a lot of effort. Yeah, definitely. I love to use props in my pictures too. As a matter of fact, I just brought about a, a prop I'll be sharing with you guys uh, later on this week. I'm excited about it. Oh, good. And you know, I've got those creepy glitter hands for Halloween too. Those are always fun to use for props. <laughs> <laughs> ah. um, so I think that all of her titles look really good. Um, let's look at one listing and we'll look at her description. So here she has a Judy Lee brooch pendant and clip earring set. That's a nice set. You don't really hear too much about Judy Lee. No, we don't. Um, that's that's kind of odd, isn't it? It is. I think I have a, a few pieces here at the house. 
Do you do like um, rhinestone jewelry sells real well, or does some of yours just sit? I'm not sure. I think I think uh, there's a pretty specialized uh, audience for that. I'm not sure. Um, seems like seems like a lot of mine just kind of sit, but I don't know. What do you uh, think? Darlene says, uh, your pup is the best prop. Thank you, Darlene. I use Skippy a lot in my pictures on Poshmark. <laughs> yes, Skippy's the best. He's my little model. He's such a good little sport. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, so what was the question? Um, how do your rhinestone pieces sell? Do they sell well? Uh, I'd say average. I mean, I don't have a ton of it listed right now. But I would say average. I'd say they're definitely desirable and collectible for sure. Mm -hmm. People love the bling. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's look at her description. I think it's good. She says, thanks, spring. Brooch and earring set with pink rhinestones and gold tone metal. Stunning. Earrings are clip and comfortable. I think that's a really short, simple, and sweet little description there. Gets right to the point. Now, does she have uh, a ruler there with them or? Because that would be helpful if you if she put in there how big the things were. Oh, well, that's a good idea. So she has three pictures. Um, she took it out close to the back, so that's good. Yeah, I guess, and I and I am guilty of that too. I, I I always recommend it, but I always forget to do it, and that's to use a ruler or like a coin uh, to show mm -hmm. show the size. Uh, if I don't do it, invariably somebody is going to message me and ask me how big. It is. So I've just tried to keep doing it. Okay. So let me stop screen sharing. So I think your store is nice, Kathleen. I think you're doing all the right things. Mm -hmm. so you add uh, a couple extra pictures, maybe with a ruler and a coin. And if you take um, pictures with your iPhone, there is a, a tip that I've said before. Um, make sure you scroll over um, to the square. Um, when you're taking the pictures as opposed to the photo um choice because the square will put it put the entire um frame it will put the entire picture in the frame on etsy um whereas sometimes the photo one will you know you, you'll have extra at the sides and and it doesn't fit the the etsy um frame as well so the square is what you always want to pick if you're taking pictures with your phone. Uh, Chicago Crown Hustler Kurt is here. He says, hey, crazy jury ladies. <laughs> I haven't seen him for a while. Hey, Kurt, how are you doing? Kurt. <laughs> we're not crazy, are we, Angie? <laughs> well, maybe we're crazy about the jury. <laughs> I'll admit it, I'm crazy. <laughs> I like to be crazy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let me show you guys in the bag. So I got this bag. When did I get this bag? Monday, I think. And I paid $34.99 for it. And it's been a long time since I've opened one of these. So I've got my white bucket here, some scissors. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. You got anything else you want to show, Angie? Um, well, there was one more piece of Monet that I need to look up in my book. Well, I don't know if it's Monet because it, it's missing a hang tag if it is, but I just, it just feels like it looks like Monet. Um, if it's not, maybe it's something else good, <laughs> but it's one of these white enamel ones. Uh, no missing, you know, no missing enamel and the beads are really pretty. The beads are nice and they have the gold caps. So I'm getting ready to look that up. It's a continuous, no, it's not. It's got a spring ring clasp. So I'm thinking probably, it's probably not Monet because it doesn't have the Monet clasp. Yeah. I was thinking it was one of the infinity um, chains, but it's not. Um, there's something else I was going to say. Oh, I was surprised in the book. Like I said, I look at this book. I, I know I look at this book every day. You see all the I looked at mine at all. I'm so bad. <laughs> you see all the tabs I have in it. Look at that. Look at all the tabs I have in it. It's all the things that I have and all the things that uh, interest me. And uh, 
or things that I might want to get or I was surprised at all the white jewelry that, that was in the 50s because I thought that was, you know, mostly a 70s thing. But I guess the white jewelry was more so the plastic type, like uh, more so the plastic instead of the enamel. Yeah, I definitely would have thought the 70s, not the 50s for that too. But it's the 70s also, but I was just surprised when I went there and I was like, wow, 1957, they had all this white this white craze which i didn't even realize i think it's pretty i really like the white stuff can you switch it over to me for a second yeah there you go oh wow yeah that's pretty now are those the original, oh, those, the original the, ads right yeah yeah those ads are um see all the jewelry the white jewelry they're wearing <laughs> you know multiple lots, pieces yeah lots of it so that was you know the late 50s so that's cool um i noticed somebody i'm sorry i i had read it but i didn't see who asked it had asked where i got the bag and i got the, the uh, jewelry bag at goodwill and then adam is saying there are certain platforms where you can use square pictures as that offer up I'm not sure. I haven't listed a lot on OfferUp. I mean, I have before, but it's been a long time. So, oh yeah, I had, I had heard that too. I don't about the square pictures. Yeah, seems that seems, sounds familiar, but I don't know which one it is either. Barb's Barb's is getting impatient. She said, "Open it, open it." <laughs> What's wrong, Tanya? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm just sitting there going through it. Okay, so here it is. Oh, okay. Here it is. All in there. I'm like, do I got to come to Texas with a pair of scissors? What is no, um, okay, we got it. So just a little stretchy bracelet, Angie's favorite. <laughs> oh, boy. The little angel on it. That's pretty. Um, oh, I've actually got a collection going of ones that I've been wearing. There's another one. Mm, that's cute. And this one's pretty. A little blingy one. Mm -hmm. Green one. What are those charms on there? It's a butterfly and a fish and a key. Are those big uh, green stones? Are they cold or are they, are they plastic? Um, they're really lightweight, so I'd say they're probably plastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is a really pretty necklace, but it looks like it's missing a couple stones. Um, oh. it's, locked on, it's locked on me. Okay, I just fixed it. So here it is. I love that. Oh, it's too bad it's missing those stones. I really like that. Dang it. Now, would you, what would you do with that? I would just not, I would just put it in the donate box. Yep. That's what's going to happen. So, yeah. um, there's a couple of earrings on cards. Here's a pair of uh, clip earrings. It says my line. And this you did, fix, huh? you did fix the camera, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. I see multiple yeah. comments here. <laughs> uh, and then this one's really pretty, but again, it's missing some stones. Ah, I know. Actually, it's only missing one, right? Right there. Oh, okay. I thought it was missing some up at the side maybe not oh. oh yeah it is you're right you're right it is uh, it's been forever since i've done this y'all <laughs> there's some kind of little coin i don't know what this is like a little pendant or something oh i found it really interesting in uh was it cat Catherine's shop that we just looked at. Is that her name? Catherine? Kathleen. Kathleen. I always get those two names mixed up. That she had one of those rings that says, uh, that was from the newspaper. Uh huh. So, how odd that I have one of those rings too. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it's so odd because it's like out in some other state there, some courier, some newspaper courier. And, uh, I don't even know how I got one, but I got one too. I have it listed listed in my shop also. 
this poor little owl, you guys, he's missing all kinds of stones. Aww. He probably can't even fly anymore. He probably can't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no markings on it or anything. And then this one, this is a little charm or pendant I was telling you about. That's Capricorn on it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So if somebody's a Capricorn, let me know. <laughs> Let's see. I think this necklace is broken for sure. That's a lot of bling. I will probably craft with these. I'll probably pull this apart and craft with these for sure. It's really pretty. Look how sparkly they are. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Very statement. Yes. What's Adam saying about when it when it's cooler in Texas? Let me know, Angie. I'll fly down, and you and Tanya can have a jewelry detectives meet up, maybe January or February. That's oh, that's good, but I'm in Pennsylvania. If okay. you go down, you can see Tanya, but you're gonna have to pick me up on the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some more bracelets. Hi, Mary. She got it at. Uh, did you say Goodwill? Goodwill, yeah. And then this one's pretty, a little nautical beachy one. Iron and lace is a Capricorn. And so is Barb. Barb said she is. Is she? When, yeah. When's her birthday? Another stretchy. Oh, I think today's Dawn's birthday. I have to remember to send her birthday wishes. I know, Angie. I know you're in Pennsylvania. Okay, I just didn't get that, what you were trying to say, Adam. You're on your phone. I'll come, Adam. I'm in Austin. Yeah, Tracy and Tracy, no problem. She can meet up with you guys. December 30th is Barb's birthday. Oh, a Christmas baby, huh? <laughs> well, New Year's almost. Yeah, right. And then just Texas Longhorns bracelet. Hmm, cute. Let's see. I've never seen a bag at my Goodwill either, Jewel. I've seen some. Um, Jars, but they're really few and far between. Oh, leaves. Leaves. And we know leaves are popular this fall, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's got an old style clasp on it, too. Nice. Really pretty. Yeah. Looks like it's uh, the finish where uh, the finish is good on it. Yeah, it does. I like that. Well, neither Tanya or, or Jewel have seen. Uh, bags at their goodwill oh no let's see what oh wow look i hope i can find the match in here so this is a jeep collins earring oh good yeah it's a little angel and you can tell by the way it's marked there on the back see it has a j and then looks like a little house and a c on the other side i've never had any of theirs yep so uh hopefully i can find the match Yes. I just never know where to go with these whenever I'm live, right? It's different when you're not live and you're sorting through it yourself. Yeah, I know. A oh, little owl necklace. That looks, does that look older or newer to you? I was going to say newer, but I don't know. Yeah, newer. It has a uh, lobster clasp on it. Okay. It's a long one, too. Adam might go to Goodwill and grace them with his appearance today, he said. <laughs> That'd be so nice of you, Adam. They get graced with my uh, appearance almost every every day. <laughs> Except for the weekend. I'm not big about going on the weekends. Like, I'm so spoiled. I don't like crowds anymore, right? Oh, no. That's what's nice about not working, though. You can go any old day you want to go. Yes. There's Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Kathleen. This is really pretty. It almost looks like the, is it the Aztec or the Mayan calendar? Mm hmm That is, that'll be a good seller, I bet. Yeah. That, I'd list that pretty soon. As a 
fold over corners. Yeah, that looks a nice shape and people like those things. I don't know why because, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see, there's lots of earrings in here. Hey, this would match what I'm wearing today. Purple. Yeah. There it goes, right on your wrist. <laughs> a yellow and gray stretchy band. Hi, Hi, Valerie. Oh, yeah, that was cute. Hi, Darlene. Oh, here's another leaf. What is it? Oh, it's a hair clip. So it's a gold tone leaf with some rhinestones, and it's a hair clip. Oh, that's nice. I sold one of those recently. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you ever sold any of those? Uh, yeah, actually, I have some listed right now, some uh, barrettes. Mm -hmm. So I'm not getting any action on them. I was hoping I would, but we'll see. Do you have them on Etsy or Posh? Uh, both. both. Okay. Yeah. Here's, I don't know what in the world this is. Killian reunion, someone's family reunion, maybe? Maybe. I want to find that other earring. Yeah, I hope you have it. That'll be disappointing if you don't. Well, this is neat. This is like a decorative little safety pin. Oh, somebody made that, huh? No, it's actually like soldered on there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jaded Gypsy. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. These are really pretty. Mm hmm. Posh. You're poshy. Poshy. <laughs> You're so funny. And then there's another pair of uh, earrings on the card. Gentle expressions. They must be uh, sensitive ear earrings. They are. Well, I have my Monet one today. My Monet earrings and the necklace. This necklace that I that I won from Sally is very nice. I love it. Oops. This is yeah, it looks like it go with everything too. Yeah, that's the Monet from Sally. Ooh, you got an offer? Oh, uh, no, it's just an order update. I ordered some Monet earrings. You're so funny. Imagine that. <laughs> uh, I, I, I started looking at, at, at Monet on uh, eBay, and I'm like, stop it. <laughs> you <Yeah>. must stop. <laughs> so funny. Um, so Owen Stevens in the chat says that Kilion is a family in North Texas near Palestine, Texas. Huh. Okay. And then uh, Rag1602 says, do you keep them on the card or take them off to sell? I would definitely put them on my own cards to sell them, to resell them, probably in my antique booth. I just got some too. I was going to make a video about it later. How I... Um, you know, package stuff or present it for the, uh, this is cute. What in the world is this? Little lanyard with a little dog on it. This looks like something that the kids would get at school. And I think that it is. So. Mm -hmm. And here's a little, I don't know, this, this is like a little brass angel. But there's nothing on the back. Trying to find some interesting stuff for you guys. Here's an old pair of clip cluster earrings. I have a whole bunch of those. I guess I'll list them as a lot someday. You'll do well with them if you do that. Well, here's a matching pair of earrings, and they look like Brighton. Let me see, it has a mark on it. Nope, they're premier designs. So it's the gold and the silver. They're pretty Ooh. though. I like those, yeah. Yeah, I'll sell these in my booth. Mm -hmm. Now what will you sell them for? Like four? Or yeah, four or six dollars. 
Four Good. Square. Yeah, because um, I'll be having the, actually I do the 50% off sale like three times a year. So I at least would like to get three bucks for them. So yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I hope to sell them for six, but if they don't, you know, I'll take three. Oh, look, I found the matching one for these green ones. Yay. Well, that's good. Those are pretty. That reminds me of the stuff that's in your box that I sent you. It's that kind of stuff. This kind of stuff? Yeah. That yeah. Kind of stuff. I got to get into that. Now, I won't lie. I did already get into it a little bit. I found a bunch of really, really pretty rings. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's, there's some nice rings in there. Yeah. Oh, so just, some um, of those were my rings for my, you know, my own rings. Really? That one that has the baguettes in it or the, all the different stones that wide, that wide gold one. It's okay. Like a pinky ring. That was mine. I have to be sure I keep that one. Oh, you don't have to. All that stuff's to sell. And then here's another little hair clip. This one is a dragonfly. Cute. And some more stretchies. Some more cluster earrings. It's nice that I have the set. Oh, well, Valerie saw your squash boss lost some necklace haul and she about fell out of her chair. I know. Can you believe that? She has an addiction to those. She sells faux ones, but she's never actually had a real turquoise one. Yeah, it was super heavy. Yeah, that was that was amazing. That's once in a lifetime thing that that you ran into there. That was really great. Yeah, that's what Thelma was saying. She was like, you know, once in a lifetime, and then you did it twice because I found two of them. It was in the same jar, run, wasn't it? Or not? I bought three jars that day because yeah. um, I did see what first caught my eye were the stones, like the turquoise, and then and the other necklace, the different the different stones. Uh, the natural stones that were in there. So I thought, you know, the stones look so good. So I thought, you know, surely that has to be real silver. So I just snagged all the jars because I didn't know what could possibly be in each one of them, you know, yeah. matching or whatnot. So I just took them all. And um, I think I, I want to say I probably paid about $30 each. I remember I made a video about it. And I, yeah, I remember that video. I opened each jar uh, separately like I showed it. And then I got sick and I don't think I ever published the video. So I need to go back and look through all my pictures or my videos and figure out, um, cause I know I talked about it, but I don't think I ever sh actually oh. showed it. Yeah. Here's another poor little turtle. He's lost some stones. I can't imagine who would put something like that in, in a jar and think it was just, you know, you know, isn't that crazy? Whoops. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. For being so, some of that's off my screen. What's it say? For being Welcome. so welcoming. Okay. <laughs> Aw. You're welcome, Adam. <laughs> Here's a pretty uh, earring, a clip earring. Oh, cool. I like that. Hopefully, I can find the match. So yeah, so now like I, I want to go back over to that store all the time, but there are crazy ladies, Angie, in my area that are just like, they're looking for those jewelry jars and I'm not as crazy about them as I used to be, but there are ladies that will call up at the store and say, you know, when are you putting out your jars? Blah, blah, almost like pestering the, the people that work. Uh, that would make me not want to do jars if I lived there. If I worked there, I would be like, you know, if I was the manager, I'd be like, um, uh, yeah, yeah, they make friends with them, I think. And like, there's this one lady, and she's always getting the jars. Um, so, and she's probably doing it because she finds stuff like what I found. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder uh, she's so crazy about it. Lydia said she has a pendant, just the pendant, just like what you sold of the squash blossom. And she said she wonders if it would be worth anything by itself. I definitely think it would. Yeah. And here's some uh, white metal uh, vintage clip earring. They're kind of dirty. We're the good crazy. <laughs> and there's bad jewelry ladies out there, but we're the good crazy. Yeah. <laughs> bad jewelry ladies getting all those jars and bags. And <laughs> I'm not 
not one of those ladies. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be mean, you know. Uh, there's no, there's no excuse for that. Yeah. If I get something, I get something. I, you know, I know I'm being taken care of. I don't need to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, and that's kind of how I feel too. I mean, I've got so much here at the house. I need to to deal with that I haven't even dealt with yet. So if I miss out on one, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> right. I have enough to list for years. Right. Yeah. Like I always say, I could not go shopping for, you know, years and, and be okay. I'm sure just with the jewelry. So what does Kurt say? He, he has been on me lately. <laughs> what's, what's he say? Cause I'm just curious, like, you know, Dick, Dick says, because I have I have it over here in my spare bedroom, under the bed, and it's kind of flowing out, because that's <laughs> kind of my overflow area. Right. And, and, and my brother-in-law's coming for um, deer season, and he stays in that room. Oh. And, and Dick, Dick said the other day, you know it's September, don't you? You know all that <laughs> stuff has to come out of there when uh, when John comes up here. And I'm like, yes. So I know he's going to start to bug me now because because that all has to be cleaned up out of there. Oh, yeah. What, what does Kurt say? He, he, you know, he, he, I have a bad habit of picking up stuff. And because I see the value in it, I, I'm just not listing it fast enough. So he tells me, you know, I need to either get it cleaned up and get it organized or I need to get another storage unit. <laughs> That's what he told me the other night. <laughs> another what? Another, another room? Storage unit. Storage unit. Storage unit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the one I have now is just jam packed. Uh, but I don't keep my jewelry at the storage unit. I keep all my jewelry, you know, at home. So, but yeah, he doesn't like it. I mean, he's glad I can make money doing it for sure. But um, when it starts flowing out of my eBay room, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, there's there's flow. There's definitely flow. <laughs> flow is a good way to put it, I guess. Yeah. So when I find stuff in baggies and jewelry jars and stuff, I always like to take a double look at it because lots of times people put like real gold or the more valuable stuff in the baggies separate. I have noticed. There's, yeah. And. In this case, that's that's not true. <laughs> so here, just yeah, he does. He he could probably he probably wouldn't mind. And then uh, somebody needs an, inter an intervention. Who's that? Oh, Martha. Her husband thinks she needs an intervention. Um, Rag says I need to be creative with my hidey holes. <laughs> I, I thought I was until the stuff started coming out from underneath the bed and then <laughs> my husband he he was so nice to um fold the laundry one day and he came up to put it on the bed and and he, he like stubbed his toe on some of the jewelry that was taken oh, out of the bed <laughs> he, like, you know, he like lifted up the you know the the uh, bedspread and like whoa <laughs> what the heck now i do keep like the coffee mugs under my bed so i have like a one of those shallow uh, plastic bins that you can pull out and then push back in. And so I've got a bunch of coffee mugs and like snow globes in there. This is uh, kind of, looks like Kendra Scott, but it's, it's all tangled up in this big mess. Oh, wow. I don't have the patience to go through. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a big one. Well, undo all the clasps first. Look at that one. Ooh, that's pretty. Definitely worth untangling. I see some markings on it. Let me look. Uh, Deb uh, and the Shauna says, Tanya, did you redo your storage? And I I didn't, Deb. I did not. I know that uh, we talked about it, but I didn't. Julie so, says that, she, that I leave space around my husband's lazy boy, so he has nothing to complain about. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, just so he can pop in there, huh? This one's marked 925, and then it says something else beside it, but I can't make out what it is. And I can't tell if those are blue or green. I think they might be blue like a sapphire. 
That's a really pretty okay. pendant. Yeah, that is pretty. Is it? Did you say it's marked at all in the back? Or it's marked uh, nine two five, and then it looks like it says. I don't even know. I can't make it out, but I can definitely make out the nine two five. That's nice. That's a nice piece. I think it's pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. Hi, Sandy. And Connie, my flipping life has an eBay comment about there's a button next to the buy it now that says five bad sellers. What? Wait. Yeah, it's good. Um, Valerie says, yeah, it's bad when you order off Shop Goodwill and you try to beat your husband to the mailbox before he sees more jewelry coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I know what you mean, Valerie. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, this one's Mark Disney. It says JCM. You know, that's something that I have never... I've never gotten into, and I have a bunch of Disney, but I just don't like it. I don't like when I get it. Really? No, I don't like it. <laughs> like I got Disney to me is not jewelry. It's kid stuff. I don't want it. I want vintage stuff. <laughs> right? It irritates me when I get it. I know people will say Disney sells really good, and there's vintage Disney, and there's hard to find Disney, and oh, okay. I just particularly don't like it. <laughs> It's kind of like the red hat stuff. <laughs> I feel the same way. Right. So this bracelet's interesting. It's in the shape of a square. And then it just opens like that. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, I love square bangles. Carol doesn't like Disney either. Yay. <laughs> hey, Bianca. Hi, Bianca. And Kathleen agrees with me. Carol wants the Disney. <laughs> Got a craft button. Craft button. Craft. Huh. Well, Iron and Lace is not a big Disney fan either. <laughs> If you open a bag of jewelry, it always has that smell to it, like just old metal and mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. I I like it when it's like that rather than perfumey, though. I, that really turns me off. Yeah. Of course, I always have to look at the ones that have the gold post. Yes. Of course, it's already sticking to the magnet, so never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Kathleen veers towards vintage herself. I know you do. <laughs> so, and Tracy likes to go to Disney, but she doesn't like the merchandise. Yeah, I love to go to Disney too, but the merchandise is definitely expensive. And Sandy's here. Hi, Sandy. I don't know if I if I said hi to you. Hey, Sandy. Oh, this is really pretty. Let me see if it's marked. <laughs> Lydia said her husband told me one day that he picked up a box of rocks outside and brought it in. And he asked me, did you order a box of rocks? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my husband. He just never knows what in the world I'm going to do. Yes. So really pretty little earring. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like blue topaz or it's yeah. for London, London blue. It's really pretty. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of this stuff, if I can find the matching earrings, will go to my booth. Uh, Rag says, do you clean your jewelry before you sell it? If so, how? Um, I usually don't. Mm -mm. I I do. Uh, well, if it's if it's dirty, I definitely do. Um <laughs> And I always go around the pierced earring posts with alcohol and like look at it and see if there's any gunk on it or anything, you know, make sure all that's clean around the post and around the uh, clip ones. Um, the other stuff I don't worry about as much, but unless it's, you know, unless it's dirty, 
some jewelry you just get and it's dirty. So, and right. I'll, I'll clean it with a with a alcohol. Um, if it's sterling, like I'll rub, I'll rub it lightly with a, a polishing cloth. Yeah, and I do that for the stuff that I sell online for sure. I'm not as not as uh, strict about it with my booth. So here's a really pretty ring that was in there. Yeah, that's pretty. That's cute. Yeah. But it's not marked, but it's pretty. Yeah, blingy. Blingy. So do we have any more questions in the chat? Well, Tanya says, why is that blue wrench in the chat? <laughs> it's for the moderators. Uh, and if there's any um, Troll. trolls, trolls or, yeah, people that say bad things, the, those people with the wrenches can, can eradicate them, get them out of here. Um, yeah, that's good, Rags. That's what I do, too. What you see? Well, this piece right here, and then this is what the back has an F on it. It looks like it's silver, but I'm not seeing any marks on it. Yeah, is it is it bumpy? It could be silver plated. Uh, it, it looks kind of puffy for silver. I'm not sure. Is it bumpy anywhere? Mm, the back's really flat. It's not sticking. I don't know. I don't know, it might be. How, how about on the uh, bail or on the um, finding? Mm -mm. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's not. Oh my goodness, there's still a lot to go through. Key ring <laughs> and Evelyn, you always find a key ring, right? Lots of key yeah. rings. What's up with that? That is not jewelry. <laughs> if I get a jewelry jar, I want jewelry, I don't want random things, you know. Right? I'm not paying for random things, I'm paying for a jewelry jar. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are this is an interesting this is an earring, right? Mm -hmm. That could be silver. Yeah, it's not sticking, so. How to get into the zone to take pictures. Do you take pictures and list or, or do a bunch of pictures separately? I do a bunch separately, Kathleen. I'll take a day and do my pictures and then, and then I, have to edit them which ugh, i don't like editing my pictures but i do <laughs> i make sure i get all the little fuzzies off of the black backgrounds and i'm just really i'm i'm over the top with that i know i am and, and that's why i don't get much done because i'm i'm excessively particular and when i don't need to be but i can't help it i must be spend too much time on my pictures too for sure yeah. Yeah, it's just like something I just, I can't, I can't not do. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I know I've got bad pictures somewhere in my shop, but I try not to have them. Yeah. So I found a matching pair for these. Oh, I like those. Very boho-y. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They're cool. They're like heavy, too. Gypsy. Gypsy looking. Yes. So what are you going to be doing later today, Andy? Are you going to be listing or taking pictures? I took pictures yesterday, so I'm going to be editing. And and if that doesn't take all day, maybe I'll get some listings up. Thank you, Linda. Linda said my pictures are great. I definitely work on them. Um, 
Yeah, I love your pictures. Thank you. Um, pretty little old screw back earring. Uh, that is pretty. That's a nice stone in there. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is that blue green speckled or what is that stone? It looks pretty blue. Oh, it's a rhinestone. I see. Yeah. I almost thought it was a natural stone. You're, I don't know why you're, you're blurry on my own. Um, yeah. That's not good. Am I blurring to everybody? Could just be my old eyes too. <laughs> You really have the patience to go through all this, Angie? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd be on that. I'd be on that like white on rice. <laughs> How often per week do you list? I try to list something, you know, I try every day. I haven't been as good as I used to be about listing something every day. Uh, but I like to, that is my goal, to at least list something every day. If I don't list something every day, I definitely go and renew uh, old listings every day just so I can have some kind of uh, activity in my shop. So I know that you can do that on eBay, but you can do that on Etsy too? What? Renew the listings? Uh-huh. Renew the listings? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. I there did not are. know that. I've never heard anyone talk about it either. Oh, my goodness. You just go to your shop dashboard and then you go to your expired listings and you can renew everything you've ever posted there since you opened your shop. Really? I'm totally going to do it. Yeah. That's how I have so many items in my shop because, you know, as you know, I've been doing Etsy for over seven years. So all of my listings for seven years are there. If I want, if I so choose to put them in, in there again, the ones that I haven't sold. So that's why I have, you know, about 800 and some items because they don't, they, they never go away. Right. Which That's is awesome. Really, I didn't really even see that. About it. These are pretty. And everybody's saying you, that you're a bit blurry. Pretty mm -hmm. much a good bit of people. Well, heck, far. Not, not real bad, though. But I don't look blurry to me. <laughs> it's just the usual. I mean, it, it, it's always been that way. And I think it's, you know, it's your internet or something. Really? Nobody's even here at the house right now except for me. And I'm on the good Wi-Fi. And I'm scared to change it right now because what if it times out and cuts? Well, don't change it. It's, it's fine. I mean, we can see. Okay. You see all the people. See, see everybody what they said. You might have to scroll okay. up. A little blurry. Okay, so what are they saying about, what is Tanya saying about uh, singles? Did you talk about that? She says, I would like to know the answer that answer to that as well. I have singles there. Should be be a website for just 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 in goals in case someone wants to match them up. Oh, you mean like single single earrings? Let me scroll. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they mean. Um, there's actually uh, um, supposed to be a Facebook group for single earrings if somebody wants to match them up but I I might I might have joined that but I don't remember if I did or not but there is supposedly this Facebook group that you can oh. go to and match up your singles I'll have to check it out so rag 1602 had asked the question do you sell the single earrings as a lot of singles or as a craft lot well, I've I've never lotted them together I have sold a, a, a vintage Vendome one as a single before I even made a video about it. <laughs> it took like a year to sell, but it finally sold. And this is a neat little necklace pendant. Looks like it was handmade. I don't know. It's like a little animal, maybe. And that's the back. So, Andy, do you have any jars or bags left? Or you have Here's my singles. Here's all my single earrings. Oh, wow. You're so organized. Well, I just throw them in that bag. I mean, these are the nicer ones, too. I mean, I've got Monet in there, I see, and some really, really pretty ones in there. So I should 
I should just sell that. That's what I've been saving them for, just to sell. Look, look how nice and, you know, closing A ones and really groovy ones. I wish I had the other one of that. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Let's see, Laurel Birch. I've got everything in there. Uh, yeah, I could sell this bag, Lydia. Sure could. You can message me. I, well, I would imagine they'd be good to scrap, I mean, uh, craft with too. Yeah, I think that's probably what Lydia would be interested in it for. Yeah, because it looks like you have some really pretty ones. I do. And I have some, you know, special ones too. Um, so we are getting close to the hour mark, you guys. You are already. Wow. That I went fast. <laughs> so I, I just want to um, remind everybody to come join our groups on Facebook. We have the uh, Jewelry Detectives group now. And also we have uh, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And the uh, links to those groups are in the description box down below. And also, if you'd like to come on and uh, be on an episode of Jewelry Detectives, you can message uh, Angie or myself, and we would be happy to get you set up. Um, and then let's see what else. Oh, and if you'd like for us to take a peek at your Etsy shop or your eBay store or your Poshmark closet, uh, let us know that as well. I'll be making a post in the groups later so that you can uh, you know, let us know if you want to participate in that. And let's see what else. Be sure you go and subscribe to Angie. She is Treasured Vintage on YouTube. And the link Etsy to shop is Dazzled by Vintage. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt you. I didn't no, you. you're fine. Um, and then Adam is asking, I think he's trying to help me figure out my camera problem. He's asking me if I use a separate camera for my broadcast. Um, I actually use my MacBook, and I'm not going to change that. So I don't want to have to broadcast on my desktop. So I'm probably not going to be getting be getting a Logitech. I actually think I have a Logitech. So I use my MacBook though, and mine is clear, right? Everybody always says mine's clear. Our Wi-Fi is just not the best. I don't know. It never has been. It is. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> Unless there's something that you can attach to the MacBook, then I'd be willing to try that. But um, thank you for trying to help me figure that out, Adam. I appreciate it. Oh, Aaron saw you at Goodwill, but chickened out saying hi. Aw, Aaron, what? Why? You should have come and said hi. Definitely. On Friday. Okay, so Friday, uh, and normally, like, I'm not there at that on that day there, but I had gone to the doctor's office, and I was on my way back home, and I had time to kill before I had to go pick up my son, so I popped in that store. You should have said hi. I'm curious, were you walking out? Because it seems like someone looked at me when I walked in. Were you walking out as I walked in? <laughs> I'm curious. Let me know, Aaron. <laughs> but I, I don't bite, I promise. <laughs> the worst I would have done is we would have taken a picture together. <laughs> that would have been cool. I would have liked to have seen Aaron Marcus. Right? <laughs> That's the one thing about making videos, like people know what you look like, but you don't always necessarily know what they look like, right? Well, that's my one, that's my one dream. I want, not my one dream, but a dream is I want to go out and be recognized, but I never go anywhere. So it's never going to happen. It's so sad. <laughs> so I did see you, Erin. So you were walking out as I was walking in. With the gloves on. I did not notice your gloves. Were you with your wife? I, I noticed. Were you with a lady? Adam says I should be able to use a Logitech for my MacBook. Oh. Well, maybe when you come down in December, you can help me set that up because I'm an old fart and I don't, I'm, you know, really stubborn about learning new things. <laughs> there goes your fart clog. <laughs> it's time. The hour is upon us. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, so we're not going to have a show next Wednesday, right? Wait, let me look at the calendar. 
I don't think that we are. Um, okay. So I want to try to get with Pam and see if she would do the next time. I'm not sure. Okay. But, um, so if you want to do one um, next Wednesday on the 26th, we can, Angie. Uh, but then on Wednesday, the 3rd, I'm going to be doing the antique booth talk with Jen and Tam. And right. then, or we got, you know, the 10th and the 17th. Mm -hmm. So we'll figure that out. And that's why you guys should join Jury Detectives Facebook group so that you'll know whenever our next show will be. We'll be sure and um, put the links uh, to the yeah, show. I'm, I'm sorry I don't participate much on that Facebook group. I should. But I, I thought of it as being more of a just let let people know what was going on with the show. As right. far as that, that's what I thought the purpose of it would be, you know, just to show the schedule or whatever and to ask people to yeah. tell people we need them. We need them to come on. Definitely. And yeah, she just wants to keep it simple, okay? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> well, I'm stupid. <laughs> Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> oh, hush. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are going to close it out. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your afternoon, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thanks. Bye, everybody.